Mr. Kanye the once more from Masterclass Visual X. I want us to, to, to look at the second part of our method of finance, where we usually talk about the future value and the present value. Remember what is the future value? This is where you put an amount of money which is not with you yet, which you will get in future. That's where we use the formula future value. And the present value, it's where also both of them, they are regular payments that are paid every month. The difference between future value and present value is that the present value, the money is with you presently and you go back and pay it. Remember the important feature of the present value, your N is negative because you are going back to pay what you owe. Right, uh, this is what, how this section was set in um, March. This was the supplementary exams in 2009, it was question 9. On 31 January, that's time, 31 January 2008, Farouk Bank had a grant in an account that paid 8% interest per annum, compounded monthly. He continued to deposit the 100 rand on the last day of every month until 31 December. Okay, He was hoping to have enough money on 31 January 2009 to buy a bike worth 1,300. Determine whether Farouk will be able to do so or not. Let's go over the statement again. Don't panic. If you don't understand it the first time, go over it again. On 31 January 2008, that's time. Let me just try and collect my data. On 31 January, 31 January, yes. 2008, Farouk Bank 100 Rand. He's putting an amount at the bank, which is about 100 Rand. I don't know whether this amount is P or X yet. If it is P, it's a once-off, but it is X, it's what you pay every month. So let me just put this hundred round here. I don't know what it is at the moment. In an account that paid 8% interest per annum. I see the interest rate there. I, 8% interest per annum compounded monthly. So I is 8 over 100, which is 8%, also over 12 because it is compounded monthly. So it's going to be 12 for monthly and 100 for percentage. It's going to be 8 over 1,200. He continued to deposit the 100 rand. Ah, now I know what is this 100 rand. Because you continue to pay it every month, it is the installments. It is X. These are regular payments. This 100 rand. On the last day of every month until 31 December. He started on 31 January until 31 December. This is time. This is, in actual fact, 12 months. I know this is 12 months, from 31 January to 31 December. He was hoping to have a bike, to have enough money on 1 January to buy a bike for 1,300. That's the money for the bike. How much is the bike? It is 1,300 determine whether we're able to do so or not. Let's understand this once more. On 31 January 2008, Farouk banked 100 rand on an account that paid 8% compounded monthly. He continued to deposit the same 100 rand, so it is X, on the last day of every month until 31 December. So he did this for 12 months. He was hoping to have enough money on 1 January to buy a bike. This is the ultimate goal. This is what we want to, to have in future. We want to check whether we'll have that amount or not. Uh, determine whether he will be able to do so or not. Okay, this guy is putting a certain amount of money, but he's saving for the bike. The question is, determine whether he will be able to buy the bike worth 1,300 or not. How do we check that? We don't know how much is this guy saving. So all that you need to know all that we need to do is to calculate how, how much will he have at the end of 12 months when he's putting aside 100 rand and compare whether he will be able to buy a bike worth 1,300. So is this a future value? Number one, is this compound interest or annuities? The answer is it is annuities because I've got installments that are paid every month. In the compound interest, there is no X there. So I forget about the compound interest there. Right? Uh, is this future value or present value? When you put the money aside, the money is not with you. It is with the bank. 
So you'll get the money when? In future. Hence, it is the future value, not the present value. The present value will be like a loan, which I take from the bank, or if I buy a house on credit, uh, the house, I'll be staying in that house, or if I buy a car, the car, I'll be driving that car and paying, paying it back. That's what PV is all about. It's what you have presently, and you go back and pay for it. But the future value is like investment. If you invest something, it's not with you, it's with the bank, you will only get it in future. So the correct formula to use here is, is future value, FV, is equal to the installments into 1 plus i raised to the power n minus 1 all over i. Make sure that you write the correct formula from your data sheet. All right. I want to check if I'm investing 100 times, how much will I have? So I can't just go put 1,300 as my future value because I don't know the future value. But I want to compare it with the price of the bike if I'll be able to buy it or not. Let's do this thing. So my future value in this particular case, my future value will be equal to how much are the installments? In this particular case, it is 100 rand into 1 plus. What is my interest rate? It is 8 over 1,200. All right, make sure that you put this in brackets. If you miss one bracket, you're not going to get it right. What is N? Ah, I'm saving this for 12 months. So my N is 12 minus 1 all over the interest rate, all over I. And my I in this case, it is 8 over 1,200. So my future value in this particular case will be, then I go to my calculator, punch that. It's a fraction button. Uh, it is 100, big bracket, and another bracket next to it. Put both brackets. Then it's 1 plus, then there's a fraction again, which is 8, my numerator. My denominator in this particular case will be 1,200. Uh, I'm going to close this one, close it, then to the power, uh, 12 in this part of the case, 12 months, I go out, I subtract 1, I close the bracket now, the bigger one, I go to my denominator, my denominator is also a fraction, I go to my fraction button, the numerator in this part of the case is 8, and the denominator is 1200 is equals to the future value in this particular case it is 1244 rand 99 now if you've got double nines or three nines or nine on the other side you are allowed to take it up one unit f v will then be equals to 1245 rand that's the amount that I'll be able to save for 12 months if I'm putting 100 rand. So it's going to be 1,245. Now the question is, determine whether we're able to buy the bike or not. How much is the, is the bike? Remember the bike is 1,000 rand. Then you must re re respond to the question. Will Farouk be able to buy the bike? No, he is short of certain amounts. Then the question is say, no, Farouk will not be able to buy the bike because the bike is 1,200 and he has 1,445. Thank you.